Hey Nerebs, it's Boris Alblendy signing in, and today is a little bit of an interesting build. Uh, today I wanted to build a fancy restaurant, and I had a couple of their ideas to build stuff, but I kind of went with this. It's on a smaller-ish lot, and here I was really, I could, my main features for this was to have, like, a kind of overlooking, like, you're looking down into, like, this big ballroom where you get to, like, dance and have really awesome fancy dances and stuff. My other feature that I was really wanting to do was, like, an awesome stairway kind of idea. You have two stairs parallel to each other, and they, like, swing out, so you have to, like, walk up two different sets of stairs to get up to the top and it's super secretive those are my two main features and you realizing now that I totally forgot to add those stairs in uh, and that I totally forgot to add the uh, the chef's room so I, I did fix it don't worry I realized that when I was building it here I was like oh man I need my stairs like where am I gonna put it and so I figured that all out and I think it turned out really good uh, there was a few main features uh, in the, the front and stuff that I really wanted to have. I really wanted it to be like a really fancy kind of what everywhere, nice open kind of room. And I don't know if you've ever seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but it's really cool because in this one scene, it's really tense because they love each other, but they have to kill each other. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's, it's one of those types of movies. And they're in this, like, really, really fancy, like, looking ball thing. And I was like, I want that. I want to build that. That was awesome. I don't know what the top floor looks like because he ends up blowing it up. But, <laughs> no, does she blow it up? I can't remember. Um, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. Regardless, it's blown up, so we never get actually get to see the top. But I got inspiration for that balcony looking down. So if you've ever seen any movie ever that's like, uh, I don't know, the guy's in the club and he's like looking over top of the club and he's looking down and he's like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm like VIP and stuff. That was the idea behind this. And I think I really portrayed not that idea, but like the fanciness of this instead of overlooking the club you're overlooking the ballroom and you'll see i put a dance floor there and it looks super cool here i'm trying to decide the outside features uh and something really awesome about this build is it is a multi-level multi-split and i had to learn how to do that for this particular build totally worth it so much fun uh i really enjoyed making it though like it was absolutely outstanding and so incredible. It's a really basic build, and I don't understand how this video got to 20 minutes, but it did. Uh, super basic, though. Like, it's... The roof I was having a lot of trouble with, uh, and the decorations didn't require a lot, because if you notice, a lot of fancy places have a lot of expensive things in it, but they don't have a lot of things. And that's the key uh, when you're building fancy things, so that's kind of what I did. Um, now I wanted the house, or not the house, the building to be originally flush, uh, but that didn't work out because I didn't know, to know at the time that the outside wall and the inside wall foundation have to be the same color. So that kind of sucked, but I made it work regardless, uh, and I think it turned out really well. You'll see here I'm choosing the fences, and once I put the rails on the thing, I noticed that it was kind of discolored, and I, at the end of the day, couldn't fix it. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Maybe it's the light is over top. I kind of play with that a little bit, but regardless, it still looks really good, so I'm not uh, upset about that. Now, that room in the middle, uh, in between those stairs, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I knew two things. I wanted to keep that area secret, like I wanted to do upstairs and hit a wall. And number two, I wanted that area to be enclosed, so no sims could get in there. Uh, and I think I turned out, like it turned out pretty awesome. And, and see that V kind of wall there in between the stairs? That was, again, based off of the idea from Mr. and Mrs. Smith, like that area. That's kind of where the bottom of this half this kind of came from. Now, the stuff on the forward end, like if you're right now on the forward, that section there that I'm working on, I like where the bathrooms are and stuff, that, not inspiration, like, no inspiration whatsoever. I just kind of, like, threw it together and went, this looks nice, I'll go with that. Here I wanted to try and make, uh, like, a half wall thing, like... So then you can have like flowers and stuff because I wanted lots of flowers, super pretty. Uh, and one, I realized there's not a lot of flowers in The Sims 4. And two, that didn't work because it looked hella ugly and I wasn't about that. 
Here I was deciding on a door in which I found this one. Super pretty door. I really like that at the uh, end of the day. I wish it was inverse where the brown was where the white was and the white was where the brown was. The windows were quite difficult uh, because I like the front of the windows, but I wanted the side windows to have like a big open feeling. Like I, at one of the restaurants in my city, we have like a one wall is just complete windows and it just feels really opening and inviting and it's something to look at and I really enjoyed that that factor of it. Here's me adding more windows and figuring out the door situation. Turned out super awesome uh, on the outside of the the building. I really liked how it turned out and it's really weird because I've never like I've built a couple restaurants and stuff but I've done them in pieces. I've never actually like sat down and like built an entire restaurant all at once. Here's the part where I realized I don't have a chef's room. So I made this balcony that you can't really access but it's more for aesthetics uh, but it's super cool. Uh, makes the back kind of look cool I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah like I'm sorry, my nose is a little stuffy. I've been sick for the past couple of days, and I worked last night, so I'm super tired. This was super, super stupid. The windows, look at that black line on the windows. I had no idea what was going on there. I, at the end of the day, did not fix it, but it's okay because I threw blinds all over it, so you can't see it. It works perfectly. <laughs> if you have problems, you fix it, right? <laughs> or you hide it. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to make A, because I totally forgot to add in the chef's room, the kitchen, sorry, uh, and B, I wanted to make it, uh, I guess, non-existent because the picture in my head didn't have a chef's room, so I didn't want them to see the chef's room, and if I was actually going to place the chef's room, I would 100% have placed it on the left of the, no, on the right of the building, behind the bar, you'll see that in the future, uh, and so it was just kind of like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have enough space in the lot, so I'll stick it in the back, and I, it ruins my, you know, ideal picture in my head of what I wanted that to look like, so it's hidden, and it works, and I like it. Uh, here's just me figuring out how to brick the house and stuff, or not the house, the building, I keep saying house, it was pretty difficult actually because that, that section of roof, you'll see in a second, uh, at the top and the front, it kept glitching out, like it, it wasn't showing that I had bricked it, but I had bricked it, so I ended up saving and going back, and I'll, if I remember to, I'll edit it out, if not, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I went with the the wood, the straight up and down wood, which actually looked pretty decent. I really like having buildings with two types of like drywall, like you have your, your bricks, and then you have your like white stuff. This is me saving and exiting and stuff. You know, it didn't take me a long time, so I'm probably not going to edit it out, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, see, it's not working, and I was like, why isn't it working? I'll paint it different colors then. Uh, and I started to ignore it, and just kept working. Uh, added some really pretty tile. Uh, I did forget to do some tiling at the top. Don't worry, I do fix that in the screenshots and stuff. This is when I realized I couldn't have that foundation, the same color foundation on... Uh, sorry, I couldn't have different colored foundations on the left side of the wall, or the outside of the wall, and the inside of the wall, so I kept with a brick underneath... I don't know. It was, I don't know, different, difficult, I suppose. This is really stupid. I had to individually wallpaper every single piece. Uh, and I went with a wood style because, I don't know, like, I feel like fancy is, like, wood and, like, I don't know, out there kind of things. It's, it turns out really really interesting and you'll, you'll see and uh, the bathrooms I did really basically I just kind of threw them together this is when I changed the fence and went I'm just gonna stick something there I don't know what but I'm gonna stick something there to make it look interesting and choosing the flooring and the wallpaper for every room and such um, I don't know <laughs> like it's like oh I like this tile for the bathrooms because I don't know when I imagine going into a fancy restaurant I imagine like super fancy bathrooms with lots of like loads of character like in the, the like actual restaurant when you're sitting down and you're looking around that's what I was going for and I really feel like I portrayed that through the bottom and top floors uh, I don't know if you I do eventually fix that uh the the one the four panels in the front on the roof and I added a, the bar I, I wanted to add a bar because I just feel like if it's a fancy place you gotta have a bar like even if it's like a wine bar or or whatever like what have you you have to have one I, I just I, that's what I imagined in a, in a 
restaurant at least. And it's really weird because when I loaded my sim into this, it at first was the like perfect, like there was a mixologist there. And then when I had to go back and reload it again, there was no mixologist. So I, I have no idea where he went, but he was there eventually. Uh, and so this is me to kind of deciding on the tables. Now, I did go with the black tables like that, and those tables don't stay there forever. I really wanted the, like I said, the, the tables to be overlooking the, um, the balcony, like, looking down and, like, seeing what's going on. Like, if you were a top dog, you could look at your henchmen down at the bottom, because they're, like, not as good as you. I don't know. <laughs> but that's just <clears throat> what I imagined. Now... I was watching uh, another Sims video, and they said that the booths don't work like that, so I don't know. But I I did put a three table there, but don't worry, I do fix it. It It is a two in the, <clears throat> in the screenshots and stuff, so you don't have to worry about it. It is accessible. I double-checked. Uh, in most of my builds, you'll notice that I will double-check everything uh, to make sure everything works properly uh, and efficiently in building this restaurant. I wanted to make sure everything worked, and this is when I realized that the right that the tables didn't actually match up, and that we had a very specific table size, uh, and so I fixed that accordingly. And I wanted a dance floor, and I thought that was the only dance floor, and then I realized, oh, wait, there's different types of dance floors, so I added that dance floor in, and I know they're gonna be like dancing like crazy because that's The Sims, but just imagine like everyone dressed up in super fancy clothing, and they're just like together doing the tango. And it's like really intense and that's exactly what I imagined. I added some poles here and there to kind of add more character. I wanted to have the fencing big a bowl of shirt like kind of it's it's really weird because it's a fancy restaurant but it has some old fashioned chandeliers and some like really like brand new like chandelier in the front and then you know the bathrooms look renovated so it kind of to me it looks like uh you know, a half-renovated fancy restaurant that the rich people go to. And I think it's really awesome, and it, it is portrayed very well. You shall see. Um, again, the bath bathrooms are super basic. I realized I could have added more stuff later, but I didn't because, I don't know, I've never really done a public bathroom before, and so it was, oh, I'll just add this, and, oh, what else can I add into this, this room? So I ended up adding towels because... I don't know. And I'm like, oh, I could have added more, but I didn't, and I should have. Um, <clears throat> this is me adding some bar tending things, actual restaurant requirements. Uh, I realized I made the chef's room a little bit irregular, but I had already done the outside, so I just made it work. Uh, this was quite uh, interesting, the chef's room. I had a quite different uh, ideas, but I realized that I had a lot of tables. And if you have so many tables, you should probably have two chefs, so I added in the second one. You'll see that in a bit. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I actually lose where one of the counters is, which is quite hilarious. You'll see <clears throat> in the future. Um, but yeah, that's the only window. They, like, people, like the chefs, they only have one window to slave over, and that's it. Like, if they don't, <laughs> like, they're stuck all day, like, for, like, five, six hours, and all they see is the sun going down and up. This is me configuring the chef's room. Again, adding, uh, you know, countertops and, you know, pretty table thing. I, I actually really liked how the, the kitchen or chef's room turned out. Uh, I don't know why I keep calling it the chef's room, but it is. And this is, a, like, where is that thing? Like, I lost it, but I found it, and I deleted it. <clears throat> and I was going to add that fruit bowl there, but I realized maybe they need some counter space uh, oh, other than that table in the center. So I, I got rid of the the bowl of fruit. This is me adding in some curtains. I think this is the curtains I went up with, turned out to be with, because I wanted people from the front to really look in. Um, I added that fountain way back, but I actually added the proper fountain stuff in there. And here's the fancy thing, you know? Add a big sculpture thing, fancy things, lights, you know, some science thing, and then, I don't know, that thing. And I was like, oh, what light can go there? And I went with that one, and I really liked it. And so I used it for every single table. 
Uh, and I fixed the things accordingly. So it's really cool. So the, not only does it have the LA, but it also has my normal uh, ceiling lights on it. Because I don't know why, but I, I just really like lights. And I don't like when people are not in the lights. And uh, yeah, and it was pretty cool. Like I wanted to have three. I wanted to have like paintings that filled the wall. So the three paintings. Uh, and so I put that on adjacent walls and I added it in the front and I went with, you know, a really cool looking flower thing at the top. Uh, and in the center there, I added in a little banister thing. And, uh, I don't know if it shows that, but it's like a little, that thing. And then I added a little flower in it and it looked pretty cool. Now I wanted to have more flowers and I forgot to add it in the recording, but I did add a little bit more flowers to the front and sides of things and, and made sure that everything was where it was supposed to be. I also added a chandelier in the front, which you'll see in the screenshots. So yeah, I, I may have forgotten to add a few things. And this is me kind of editing the menu. I couldn't figure it out, but I did. I figured it out. I was like, how do I do this? And I'm like, oh, that's how. So everything's super like fancy super uh expensive so it really didn't matter what it was it just had to be expensive so there's lobster and steak uh and that kind of those kind of meals uh with wine and all the different types of fruit alcohol beverages you could think of super fancy place uh would highly recommend for your sim to go <laughs> um but yeah no it was super fun to make uh and if you want to download it, you can. This is me editing some of the outfits. I thought I added in because it is part of the build. I couldn't figure out what I wanted. I wanted the girls to be in dresses, but I'm like, it really doesn't fit. Uh, so I kind of... I don't know. There wasn't any dresses that matched the kind of look that I had in my head. So I think I actually ended up with that black dress for the um, like hosts. And then, or not for the hosts, what was it for? No, it was for the hosts. And then this was for, like, the waiters. Yeah, it was the waiter outfit. And then this was the male's waiter outfit. Super fancy, super done up. Uh, and I kept the other male's host outfit. And uh, here are the screenshots. So here's the outside. Um, and, like, the, the look, I guess on the side so you can see like the fountain and I added some benches and such uh I think it turned out really good um I don't know <laughs> I turned or I sped down the screenshots because last time I noticed I took too many I really like that screenshot that's why there's two of them and I'm not taking him out here's the host he's helping out this girl here um and a different screenshot I do kind of did this in well, time was playing when I had my sim. Here's the bathroom, the three doors, super fancy. I think those doors kind of what ties the rest of the restaurant in with, you know, this kind of modern-esque bathroom. Here's the dance floor and, like, all the seating and stuff and the look of, like, the stairs, the hidden stairs, but then they go on the side. That was one of the, the main vocal points slash features. The hidden door for the chef's room, the actual chef's room. I got some pretty cool screenshots here. Not going to lie, super proud of them. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I really liked how it turned out. I really love the table in the middle and, like, the, the sink and the two fridges and, like, the place to put food and stuff. I thought it turned out really great. That screenshot blessed just saying <laughs> uh and you know the plant in the middle to kind of differentiate the two fridges and you can see this is kind of at the top of the stairs this is the flowers in the middle of the stairs uh, and then you can look down and you can see everything is close quarters and i love it and that's exactly how i wanted it to be uh and there's people walking up the stairs i was not lying i was taking screenshots as they were happening uh, and so there's the one side. I don't know if I took a screenshot of the other side, to be honest. I may have forgotten that. <laughs> it's very similar to the other side. Uh, but yeah, there's down looking to the balcony. Like, oh, I'm the VIP guy. I'm looking down, seeing people dancing, doing the tango or whatever. Guy slaving away, doing his job. Good job, dude. And, uh, yeah, those are the, the two sculptures and the, the long way. Here's the patio uh, for people to sit outside. I don't know. It turned out so good. And he, overlooking the patio, that, that chandelier on the right, loved it. Um, the patio turned out really good. You know, the Sims seemed to really like it um, and enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
and it all comes down to what you personally thought of the build. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, if there's a next video. You never know with me. Honestly, I could make a video in three months from now. I have no idea. <laughs> Regardless, you should subscribe for whenever it comes out. Bye.